There is a gem in Morristown, and it is Morristown Friends School. Well, 225 years of history at this school really means nothing but good things. You know, it's been working for this long, and it's still working now. And we've we've done much more than survive. We've really uh, we've really flourished over over that period of time. It uh, reminds me of how old I'm getting. Uh, I was here for the school's 175th anniversary. The, uh, the longevity of an institution uh, in its current location, uh, which is the original location uh, over those many years, suggests that, that for uh, a long, long time, we've been doing a lot of things right here. I think what a school being here this long for this kind of value says it's possible to live life in a really great way, to treat each other well, to care. Being part of a school with such deep roots um, allows you to participate in a community that kind of traverses uh, decades and things like that. And there's a lot of people that have participated in this particular institution and made it what it is today. The, uh, the, ch the changes for the better, which are many, uh, include uh, uh, a much more diverse student body. MFS is diverse in a lot of ways. Uh, we are, um, in terms of students in the population, a lot of diversity in ethnicity and religion. Today we're so uh, uh, wonderfully diverse. I've been here for 13 years. Seven years. Six years. 13 years. Three years. Six years. Five years. Two years. Four years. I've been here for five years. Eleven years. One year. Six years. One year. Thirteen years. Two years. Fourteen years. Sixteen years. Three years. Eleven years. Three years. <laughs> Twelve years. Six years. One year. Six years. Ten years. Four years. Twenty years. Do we have fifteen grades in this school? Uh, we have three-year-olds and we have seventeen and eighteen-year-olds in the school. And I think that's, uh, that's a very special part. I've, I've been here since uh, pre-K, and um, everyone that's been here from preschool to kindergarten is considered an original, and there, I think there's only maybe 10 or 11 of us left. I've been here for, ooh, I think 11 or 12 years. The uh, people are so inviting and welcoming and you could just really make friends so easily here. Everyone's friendly. I, I'm friends with everyone, like lower school, upper school, middle school. Uh, I can see, actually I can see kids going through the same journey I went through here as an original back in the 50s and 60s. Uh, when I first got here, I'm a public schooler all my life until I got here, and I wondered why parents would um, pay all this money to send their uh, children to get an education when there's you know usually good public schools around but after 17 years I, I do understand that um, the people here and the bonds uh, that you get here uh, are uh, amazing. This is my 18th year and I can't imagine being anywhere else at this point. I've had three different jobs here. I was the Chester Reagan chair and then I was upper school director and I now have this job so I've been lucky in that I've been able to move through a variety of settings and I really love working with the people that I work with, that is the adults in the community. And I'm fortunate in that I'm still able to be in the classrooms. I'll be honest with you, when we go off campus and we compete in science competitions, every student we meet is just as motivated as the students we've brought. But when I talk to the teachers, they'll tell the same story, that the percentage of students in their schools who are truly interested in active learning is much smaller than what we've got. I wouldn't say every student in the school is interested in science education, meaning becoming a scientist or an engineer, but I find most of my classes are populated by people interested in learning. The reason I came here is to get more of a challenge uh, regarding like academic wise, and so I came ninth grade uh, to see how it would go, and I just ended up loving the place and the community. Well, I think the for me, it's the, the Quaker dimension that makes it really different, um, that we are able to bring together both a sense of the spiritual and uh, 
a service orientation along with the academic program. I also think, and I've worked in a bunch of places, that besides that, uh, MFS is probably the friendliest place that I've ever worked. There is a level of discourse and connection here that I think is really unusual and it's very special. We have such a supportive and open community where dialogue is not only encouraged but um, supported in a way that um, we're sharing and understanding and communicating in a way that, that supports the mission of the school as well as the concerns of the students and faculty. Um, it's pretty remarkable to see that. It's definitely a closer relationship with your teachers and you can definitely go to them for help and they won't question you. Um, I love the individualized attention and I love how lunch is much longer than my other school. And you get to hang out with friends and go play football or something. It's the community in the sense of uh, family and togetherness is something that we really couldn't do without. It's, it's almost what we're kind of based around and known for. Um, one of the highlights of our school. What's good about more South Friends schools, even in the, sh in the short time that I've been here, are the school's values have not changed. Um, but how we respond to a changing world, um, we've, we've kept up with changes in the world, um, but we still kept our core values. The community here and that sense of belonging and really, you know, kind of at your home, that's, that's really part of what MFS is. Um, it's great. It kind of brings everyone into one and it develops trust and confidence in the other students. You didn't want to lose sight of the spiritual and ethical dimension. I think I especially think of meeting for worship. I think you actually have to grow into it. This is almost no way out of the process of coming to terms with silence. It's particularly hard in our culture because we're never quiet. We always have music or something on. but. I think there's no way out. No matter when you started meeting, you have to get comfortable with silence. It's a pretty interesting phenomenon that occurs with, with meeting for worship. It's, it's a process that is based in reflection, so you can't do it quickly. You can't walk in one day and go, oh, I got it. You got to work at it. By the time students are seniors, they're beginning to realize that there's something very special about meeting for worship. I want you to come to terms with being responsible for the fact that your spiritual lives might matter. Even if you don't have a religious construct for that, clearly there's something in human life and you see it, you can't take an anthropology course and not run into it. Something about the spiritual life that matters for people. But what we're calling that examined life program um, was put as, a, a co, as, as equally important with the academic program and that that should bleed over into the academic program. The, academically, the school's great. You get to learn a lot of stuff and then besides that they also have programs which you can do theater, sports. The extracurricular activities and all, all the things that they have to offer here were really the reason that I came to MFS. Uh, the the uh, options students have in sports and choosing courses uh, are much more extensive than, than when I was a student here. Uh, for me the school day doesn't necessarily end last period or begin first period. There are a lot of extracurricular things, um, a lot of events uh, that spill over to the weekend, uh, ethics bowl and things like that, uh, that you don't get um, in other schools particularly. The first word that comes to mind is tradition. Uh, we've had many, many programs here at Morristown Friends that have been in existence for a very long time. Girls Lacrosse has been in existence for over a hundred years and you can look back and see the history and see the role that athletics has played in our school and all the thousands of, of student athletes who have had an opportunity to represent their school in a positive way, doing something that they really enjoy. So for me, 225 years at Morristown Friends. Of course, athletics hasn't been around that long, you know, 225 years, but it has certainly been an integral part of the school, and it certainly speaks to the, tr the tradition and some of the, you know, joy that comes with being here. I love basketball since I was a kid, and coming here, I didn't know how it would be, like, because from public school, it's a little different, and being on the basketball team and being the only Sikh on the basketball team in my religion, it's really great to represent my religion and just play what I love. The Morristown Friends Athletic Program is a middle school and upper school program. It um, is for students in grades 6 through 12. The, the vast opportunities that they have as far as electives and majors and after school activities with, you know, theater and even just for general arts, film club, photography club, there's classes and electives for all of them. 
Um, I think that's one of the really strong things that makes MFS such a unique community. The biggest opportunity it's given me is to be involved in lots of aspects, so like student government, um, but then I'm also involved um, with sports year-round, and I do theater. I can do I do costumes for the theater, so um, it's really given me the ability to not just have one thing I focus on, but really have a well-rounded high school experience. After at the end of a school day, I think having extracurricular activities for students who are working hard, for, very hard during the day, it's a great outlet. Um, and a great way you know, to spend time after school, be it the arts, be it athletics, there's lots of opportunities to explore your interest. I think that our offerings are pretty, pretty diverse and we're open to, um, to changing what we offer based on how we see the needs of the students changing. Uh, and I think there's a lot of outlets for creativity and a lot of ways for students to kind of carve their own paths and dictate what they want to do and kind of take their interests and mold them into the curriculum in their own ways, whether it's uh, by senior project, capstone project, uh, electives, and uh, suggestions and things like that. The faculty is always open to accommodating students, and that's quite unique, I think. Um, the 225th anniversary, it kind of, I guess to me, it just kind of shows how this school has been thriving for so long and how great the community is. I love this school. Um, I think it's a really unique experience and anyone would be lucky to go here. Um, well, it really shows how the school can prevail and how good its education has been for it to keep going into the future. Home. Unique. It's friendly. Short. And tall. And different. Fantastic. Achievement. Diverse. Phantasmagorical success and wonderful.